take you into another fantastic episode of Reptile News. It's Thursday. It's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. First of all, be safe. Enjoy your turkey, if that's your thing. That's my thing. We're going to see family later. Going to have some turkey. Have a good time. Uh, visit a lot. Um, that being said, the reason we're doing this on the Thursday, a couple weeks early too, I, would, I mean, vacation was going to last a little longer, but I just couldn't... Yeah couldn't stay away and a couple of things that have happened that showed up in my inbox really jumped out at me and I wanted to get on here and talk about them and the first one is I'm sure we've all seen the stories and that is about the reporter that went in and bought the venomous snake at the expo and I oh my god you know I really uh, I, I, I mean how could you sell any snake without asking questions let alone a venomous snake without asking questions it's just it boggles my mind how somebody can even do something like that. It's ridiculous. It's unacceptable. It, it should not be tolerated. Now, granted, you know, I'm, I'm sure this reporter was going in there looking to do this. It's not like this is something that just happened. But at the same time, really? I mean, if this is the kind of thing that we're going to allow to go on, we have no hope. There, it, it, it's just hope is gone. It, it's... And I mean, I don't know 100% what to do about the situation. I really don't want to, uh, you know, take up arms against an, another person in the in the reptile community. I don't want to divide us or anything. But at the same time, who who is our community? Is somebody that does something like this part of our community? Or is this somebody that we completely denounce as not a part of our community that we don't want to associate with? Uh, you know, you be the judge. Leave a text comment or a video response. That is your question of the day. What do you think about somebody just selling a venomous snake at an expo without asking any question? And our next story is about Berkshire Reptile Rescue, which is hoping that people uh, pick up some unusual exotic pets for gifts this holiday season. <sighs> Please, don't pick up unusual exotic pets this holiday season. I mean, if it... If it's somebody that knows what they're doing, it's a little bit different story. If the research is done, if the education is there, it's a little bit different story. But I think the worst thing you can do is go grab an iguana and throw it on somebody's lap and say Merry Christmas. I mean, oh, please don't do that. Part of the problem, not the solution. And now we move on to Georgia, where 22-year-old John Rosenbaum was bitten by a black mamba during a visit to the seller's house at 2.30 in the morning. <sighs> you, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, guy. I don't make this stuff up. It, it, I really don't make this stuff up. I really don't like. This is like three bad stories in a row, and then, oh my God. Um, anyway, the only thing I really have to say about this is if you're visiting your cellar at 2:30 in the morning, you know you've done wrong. Um, this is just fuel for the fire. It's ammo for the people that are starting regulations. I, I personally, I wouldn't own a black mama. Uh, not because there's necessarily something against it, but I have no idea how to care or deal with a snake like that, so I wouldn't personally own one. Um, I've never seen one uh, up, I, I've seen one at the expo, actually, last month they had a black mamba there, so I've seen one, but never, uh, yeah, I don't know what the infatuation is with, with black mambas, why somebody would want one, but that is not to say that there's anything wrong with it, a lot of people don't see why I, like corn snakes so uh, to each their own but again if you're visiting your cellar at 2.30 in the morning it's, it doesn't that raise any questions for the seller at least and now we move along to New Haven where officers responding to a dispute found a four-foot alligator living in an apartment and I must stress that it is not against the law to own an alligator in New Haven but the Department of Natural Resources says it's highly discouraged now, in Connecticut, it has been illegal to own primates since uh, I've been 35 pounds or over, I believe, uh, since uh, we've all seen the story of the woman that got um, attacked by the chimp, I think it was a chimp, and um, they adopted legislation um, it, making it illegal to keep the primates, I'm pretty sure it was 35 pounds, over 35 pounds, um, other stuff like leopards and wolves, and there actually was alligators and crocodiles within the legislation, but it was thrown out because it was said to be too broad of um, a law banning them. So, yes, again, it is not illegal presently to keep them, but does I, I gotta stop right there and say my only real reservation about this is how are you gonna keep an American alligator in an apartment setting? I don't, I don't see 
how that can be possible unless you have a big ass apartment. Um, but things like this keep happening. It will soon be illegal. So bravo, thank you for looking bad for the reptile community. And I would like to close in saying, please, everybody, you know, I know there's a lot of responsible people out there, but please just, you know, keep in mind every time you do something, you're representing a community as a whole, no matter how small of a keeper you are. Um, all the way down to the, you know, the 10 year old with a fence lizard or something, or the seasoned veteran keeping venomous animals or large constrictors or whatever, please keep in mind that there's, there's always eyes on you everywhere. And even if the eyes are never looking at you, when one mistake is made, they're there, trust me, and they don't forget. So please, before you do anything, think it's common sense just use common sense and think and I know sometimes it's hard but uh, it's the way it has to be and that my friends has been all your news for this Thursday Thanksgiving episode if you'd like to read any more of these stories that links right down below here in the description and as always if you're still watching my name is Jason White now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other and we'll see uh, maybe tomorrow I don't know we'll see what happens how much I do not recommend anybody do this at home here now that all the legal stuff's out of the way just check it out Look at that beauty right there. Okay, now, once again, I cannot stick to anybody how much I do not recommend. I don't care how much experience you have or how long you've been in the hobby or anything. Don't try this at home. Please don't try this at home. Now, let's, uh, back away to a safer distance and hear the story. So, I'm at work today, and, uh, somebody comes in and gets me and brings me over, and as it turns out, they went and got a nice hot cup of coffee on this chilly northern california day 